Hey, CISSP wannabes, I'm back once again. Colin Weaver, IT Dojo, CISSP questions of the day. Um, the majority of days, I give you two questions per day. Here comes the first one. Question number one today is, which of the following is a characteristic of an interpreted programming language? Go ahead and look at those answer choices. Click pause, then when you're ready, click play, and then we can talk it through. All right, first answer choice says that it turns high-level languages into uh, executable binary code. No, that is what a compiler does, not an interpreter. So that's not the right answer. Next answer choice on the list says that it executes instructions one line at a time, and that is absolutely one of the characteristics of interpreted languages. So an interpreter does do that. So that's the right answer. Third choice says that they are in the form of instructions directly executed by the uh, computer's hardware. That is actually what machine language is. So that is not a characteristic of interpreted languages. Um, interpreted languages are much higher level than machine languages. And then the final answer choice, which is not correct, is that it converts assembly language into machine language and that's actually what an assembler does. So you have compilers, interpreters, and assemblers. We were looking for the term here that goes in and corresponds to what an interpreter does and the answer is, is it interprets and executes lines of code one at a time. All right, my next question for you today is which of the following does a hot site have that a warm site does not? There's choices. Think about it. When you're ready, choose one. Then click play again if you've clicked pause, and then we can look at what the, uh, what the right answer is. All right, the right answer here is that a hot site has near real-time data, whereas a warm site does not. Um, I, different organizations may have just slightly different perspectives on this. There may be degrees of hotness, and these degrees of hotness may say that, you know, you've got almost up to the minutes or up to the second, maybe in some circumstances, um, actual data at your hot site. And in other circumstances, it may not be quite that hot. So every shop is going to have a little bit of variation in there. But there's typically some data there that's going to be readily usable in a very short period of time. Uh, from the few numbers of, of hours, in some cases, maybe to a day or, you know, or maybe slightly longer. Again, that's going to slightly vary. But as things cool down and shift from a hot site into a warm site, one of the dis other differences is that there's not as much um, uh, there's not as much data there, if at all, and there's probably also not quite as much hardware there. Uh, and it may not even be doing anything actively right now in a warm site. All right, we knocked that out quick. First question today was making sure that you know the difference between compilers, interpreters, and assemblers. Make sure you know that from an exam perspective. And also make sure, it uh, should be almost a gimme when it comes exam time, knowing the differences between hot sites, warm sites, and cold sites. So that's certainly going to be something that you're going to be tested on when it comes exam day. So I hope you dug these. Click on like if you did. I'll be back tomorrow with two more questions. Peace.